So then going to look at this uh, generic SK18752 amplifier board from Aliexpress. This is the board here. So this uh, chip amp 18752. So the board has a built-in bridge certifier here. So this board can be connected directly to an easy source transformer to roll. We have our volt capacitor, primary capacitor here. 4000 UF 35 volt. We also have a <coughs> UPC 1237 here. This is a speaker protection IC. We have our protection relay here. This this uh, relay disconnects the speaker if the if there if there is a DC output large DC output voltage at the output of the amplifier. We have our coil here. It's part of the subwell network. This uh, red uh, cap here and uh, and. Uh, I think that's a 4.7 ohms. Yes, that's part of the subbell. So what else? Okay, so that's the board. The build quality of this is pretty good. The board is nice with the spacer. I just fitted this one including the heat sink this uh, is from old amp so this is the board here it costs about 13 pound 49p with free shipping and we have to pay tax on top of the price listed on the side okay, so that's the power supply up to 24 volts AC Say the output can do 30 watts at 8 ohms and 50 watts at 4 ohms. So we're going to test this board if this can really do its rating listed on this <coughs> description. Hello everyone, today we got this uh, SK18752 chip amp. And it is today we're going to test this with our usual test, 8 ohms, 6 ohms, <coughs> 4 ohms load to see how much power this can deliver. This is our power supply here. It's a dual polarity, 30 volts power supply. Okay, let's turn it on. <coughs> so we have our meter here. So that is around 61 volts from the positive rail to the negative rail. So that's around 30.5 volts the negative brain another 30.5 on the positive brain so dual polarity 30 volts for supply <coughs> now you know, <coughs> i'm gonna increase the input to the arm to clipping So it's clipping a bit at the top now. So I'm just going to reduce the input to damp a little bit. Maybe if I can get it to 48 volts. <coughs> okay, so that's still 48.4 volts. And uh, so it's clipping at the top. I think it's clipping a little bit. Even though it's clipping at 48.4 volts. Yeah, the THD is around uh, or at the 1% range so that's around 0.5% uh, so let me just reduce the input <coughs> a little bit more maybe at 48 volts pick to pick okay that should be it 47 yes that's 48 volts <coughs> It looks like that's the <coughs> best the amp can do at 8 ohms, 48 volts speed to pick. And the THD is around, that's 1%, so that's about 0.28%. So that's our results at 8 ohms. I'll, I'll be back after I change the dummy load to 6 ohms load. 
I have the 6 ohms dummy load connected. This orange resistor here. This is our <coughs> 6 ohms dummy load. And uh, that is our DC offset. The DC output offset of the amp. That is currently the output of the amp. 18.8 volt peak peak. Now I'm going to increase the input to the amp. <coughs> until the output of the amp clips. So that is clipping compared to class D amplifier the, <coughs> the output of this chip amp and class AB amp are <coughs> pretty clean there's just no switching noise so it's clipping a little bit up 45 volts per pick let's see if I can get it to 45 volts per pick and remove the clipping like that the max output 45.2 volts pick to pick at 6 ohms load <coughs> now let's look at our THD or at the 1% range so that's about 0.38 yes that's 0.38% this is our result, 45.2 volts peak to peak and 0.38% THD. So I'll be back after I change the dummy load to 4 ohms load. Okay, the 4 ohms dummy load is now connected. Turn this on. Okay, so that is currently out. Currently, our output 18.8 volts peak to peak. Now I'm going to increase the input to the amp. This is 4 ohms load. Okay, it's clipping. It is at 33.6. It's clipping. It's clipping at the bottom. Okay, that is. 32.4 volts peak to peak I think it's clip, still clipping a little bit the, it's a little flat down there so let's look at the THD at 1% it's about it's going up to 0.6% so I'm going to, <coughs> to lower the output of the arm to maybe 31 volts peak to peak It's still clipping at 31.2. Okay, so that's 31.2. There's no clipping. So that is our maximum voltage output at 4 ohms load. Now let's look at the THD. The THD actually is pretty low. We're at the 1% range, so that's about 0.16. Yes, that's about 0.17. It's going, it's going to 0.2%. It's going up to 2.2%. only starting to clip so definitely I need to adjust the output a little bit yes that is at 30.8 volts so that THD has stabilized at so that point one. So that's the maximum voltage output at 
for ohms load 30.8 volts per to peak and uh, or at the 0.3% that's uh, that's 0.1% So that's around 0.1%. So this is our final results. Let's compute the power output of the amp at this load. So this is our final result. At this at eight ohms load, the uh, this board can do 36 watts RMS at 0.28% HD at 6 ohms load 42.5 watts RMS at 0.38% and 4 ohms load 29.6 at 0.1% so this board actually has a <coughs> lower output power at 4 ohms load the highest output power this board can do is 42.5 at 6 ohms at 8 ohms is around 36 so not too bad for 34 8 ohms load and, four, and 6 ohms load but 4 ohms load it's a little bit low so this is the SK18752 board